an award-winning novel likened to the tale of Bridget Jones that tells the story of a British Jamaican woman in South London is making its way onto our screens. And as well as navigating the usual trials and tribulations of a single woman in her 20s, Queenie, the title character, also deals with the challenges of living across two cultures and battling a system that seems to be against her. <coughs> we'll speak to the star and the writer in a second, but first let's just have a look. So we are joined now by Dion Brown, who plays Queenie, saw there, and Candice Carty-Williams, who wrote the novel and was an exec producer on the series. Welcome to both of you. And Candice, you were saying that you were here in Breakfast five years ago. Five years ago. When the novel was published, and of yeah. course it went on to huge success, yes. and here we are with the TV series. I know. How exciting. It is, yeah. It must be... How do you feel about it being your vision, what's in your head that's translated onto the screen? You know, there have been challenges, um, but I think that the show that we have keeps the essence of the novel and the essence of what Queenie is saying. So I'm really happy for people to see it in a different format and take it, I guess, to a wider audience too. Challenges, that's interesting. What were the challenges? <laughs> Uh, loads. Uh, do you know what it is? We've I got think, all day. Yeah. You know, I think one of the things is, you know, it's uh, getting 100,000 words down into eight episodes and then filming that in 48 days. You know, you're kind of just like, how do we do this? How do we get everything in? They so it's it in 48 days. 48 days, yeah, the whole series. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And do you, are you involved in subbing it down? Yeah, so I'm in, I, was, I was in the edit for about nine months, just sort of sat in a dark room, just being like, can we take two seconds off? Can we add three seconds on? <laughs> so, yeah, I know everything now. I know too much. What do you prefer, the writing process or the TV editing process? Writing process. <laughs> I love writing. I love writing. That's why I do what I do. Dion, as Queenie, I mean, the pressure's on you as actors, isn't it, <laughs> to get everything right first time if you've yeah. got such a limited uh, window for filming? I took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. How was it, the filming process? Yeah, it was... It was stressful at times naturally most things are but um it was a lot of fun candice t just tell us about queenie for those people that haven't read it and are waiting to see the series just tell us about queenie uh, so Queenie is a 25-year-old black woman who is straddling two cultures. So her family are from Jamaica um, and they came here in the 60s. So we kind of go back, actually, to her family in episode six. So we get a bit of, like, who the Jenkins family are. Um, and then, you know, Queenie is here and she's doing her best. She's got this Jamaican family, she has this white partner and she's trying to figure out how to please everyone. Um, and it doesn't work. <laughs> it's not working at all. How's it not working in terms of th that juggle? Yeah, I mean, so we obviously saw a clip of her workplace and that's one of the places that Queenie is like, I'm trying to do my best here, I'm trying to be this black woman in this white environment, what does that mean for me? And it's about being a black woman in a white environment everywhere and being like, am I doing my best? Am I failing? Is this my fault? Is it their fault? Um, it's kind of asking those questions. Inevitably, because she's a woman of a certain age who is a journalist, the comparisons have been made, haven't they, with Bridget Jones. Is that frustrating or actually is that quite helpful to get it on people's radar? No, I think it's great. One of the things that I said early on was that I really wanted the scale of Queenie to be the scale of Bridget Jones. I don't want it to be a quiet publication. I don't want it to be a book that you found in the black literature section of a bookshop. I wanted it to be big and bold and in people's houses. And here we are. On BBC Breakfast. <laughs> and now in Again. Yeah, <laughs> again. <laughs> so where does this go now? And if you come back in five Ooh, years' time, is yeah. this, does this story continue? It might do, but I think Queen needs a bit of a break. I put her through her paces, so like, I'll let her rest, and then if we throw her life around again, then, you know, she's had a bit of time. Are you going to be watching the TV show? Are you going to be waiting to see your social media light up, see what people's response is? I'm going to be on a plane to LA okay. to launch it there. So I, Dion will be, but I want to Yeah, <laughs> That's right, because it's on American streamers as well. Is that a whole yeah. different kind of market, a whole different way of publicising it? Yes and no. Uh, it's Hulu over in the US, and they have, like, a... People are sending me pictures from New York, from LA, from Harlem, just people, like, seeing, like, the, the cover everywhere, and I'm like, oh, OK, this is weird. Um, so, no, they're really keen, they're really excited, because they kind of, they're, they're interested in our culture, too. Dion, first two episodes tonight, 10 o'clock, so people have been watching the political debate and then they'll be able to get some light relief, right? Yes, they will. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. 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 Might be a different kind prefer? of stress. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Thank you both so much uh, for coming in. Uh, lovely you. to see you. And, uh, yeah, two episodes of Queenie tonight, 10pm, Channel 4. Absolutely. A break from all the election debate, huh? In